Good morning, good evening, good night, everyone. Welcome to uh, Plants vs. Zombies tier list. Today we're ranking all seven games, so I didn't, uh, so I didn't mean like, uh, like the seven games I know from PVZ. I uh, I never played the Chinese version of these games because I don't even know those and I can't even play these. So I only ranked seven of these kind of games. Seven of these games I know and I've played. Like I've played all of those games. So yeah, I'm a PVZ nerd. So yep. Let's start off with Garden Warfare 2. Let's explain why. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, adventure, A tier. Actually, probably even S tier. You have to, like, the, I remember that you have to collect gnomes and uh, collect snow globes. Like, gnomes to, you know, get an achievement or, you know, get 500,000 coins. But there's also, like, glitches. And, you know, the, the hub is amazing. Also, S tier. Uh, and the characters, some characters are great, some characters are bad, some characters are even terrible, but, um, you know, the character selection is a B tier, there's also some Gar for 1 ca characters, which will go a bit later, wait, did I put Gar for in this list? Oh shit, I didn't put Gar for in this list, uh, <laughs> ah, this is, this is great, uh, so, where I'm gonna be putting Gar for 1, so, I didn't put Garden Warfare 1 here, I forgot. I forgot to put Garden Warfare 1 in this list. Alright, so where I'm going to be doing Garden Warfare 1 is, uh, it's going to be an S tier, like for sure. Like, it's, I think it's going to, it's all my all-time favorite um, PvZ game of all time, but let's talk about Garden Warfare 1, uh, 2. Yeah, there's uh, quite a bit of Garden Warfare 1 characters, but... And the, there were there's also ops, but it never really stood out to me. I just stuck with Garden Warfare One ops because it's way better than twos. Never really liked Garden Warfare Two's um, uh, Garn ops. So I'll put it uh, so it's a D tier Garn ops. But there's also some extra modes like Herbal Assault. Um, there's also what is there more? I think that's it. Herbal Assault. Or maybe even, like, they removed Taco Bandits. They removed... What did they remove more? I don't know what... I actually don't know what they added. But they also added the Town Hall, which was good at the time. But now it's absolutely... Like, it's uh, now the biggest pieces of trash I've ever seen. Uh, we have Randos. Rampant Revenge. And... Nobody really likes it, but well, you know, whatever. Let's put Garden Warfare 2 at A tier. Yep, I'm not putting it at S tier. <sighs> yeah, Garden Warfare 1 is my all time favorite PvZ game, and it goes up there if you didn't know, like at S tier. Uh, PvZ Heroes, oh, that's gonna be a, an interesting pick because, uh, uh, some of us don't even like this game anymore. Some of us, uh, uh, some of the, some of us didn't re even d uh, remember this game existed. I even forgot about this game a long time ago. So I've played this since 2018, and back in the day, it was so much fun. But now it's quite bland and boring. The multiplayer absolutely sucks. Like you always lose. It's it's not even a surprise. You always either you're opponents concede or they're just too good and uh, and they make you lose your rank and uh, it's just not fun the, the the multiplayer is the worst the worst is absolutely terrible in any pvz game it's also like a cards game actually yeah probably a cards game but you also have to plant some plants which is actually a pretty good mechanic so i won't put this game on f tier but i will put this on d tier it's not a great PvZ game. Never really liked the game, so yeah. PvZ two. It's a little bit better than PvZ uh, Heroes. I mean, PvZ two cannot beat PvZ one. Like, I'm. I mean, yeah, there's more content on PvZ two. There's like Reflourished, or there's like PvZ two Reflourished. There is uh, Eclipse. There is uh, General Universe. Universe. Like, there's. Like, there's so many mods for PvZ2 that, um, 
that is pretty good. So I won't put this game. I'll put probably put this game on A tier, probably even S tier. I've played this game like I've played this game before PVZ one, which why 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 did I do that? It was a terrible mistake. But I still think PVZ two is not a terrible game. I I still think it's a pretty good game. Even though I don't play it anymore, even though I think it's boring to watch, it's pretty good to play. Okay, PVZ3. Okay, now, you'll probably, like, 99.9% like .9 of the people that actually play, play this game, probably in the 100% that play this game, do not like this game at all. They, they think this game is terrible, they think this game is awful, they think it's too easy. And I and I never really played it that much, but I remember a bit in 2020 when I played this shit, it was terrible. And uh, that's why I want to put it in F tier because I don't want to tell you how much like the game is broken, but it's just it's just broken. Oh, wait, I added PVZ three two times. Okay, then this one is also going on F tier. <laughs> the newest PVZ three. This is the old PVZ3, but the newest one, I have no idea. I've never played the newest one, so I'll also put this in F tier. PVZ1 is the best game. PVZ2 is good. Actually, above PVZ, so, but this is not my all-time favorite PVZ game, but I'll, t I'll tell you why it's high up. First of all, it's on many different platforms. Like You can play it on... Um, I think you can play it on the phone, Windows, Java... No, actually, Windows, you can play it on PC, you can play it on Linux, if you, actually, you can play it on Linux, phone, like, a mobile device, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, uh, the PlayStation, the PlayStation Vita, uh, what, what more, what more, actually, I think these are it. These are the ones that I can remember. There's also an Xbox One Game Pass that you can play PVZ One, but it's the Xbox 360 edition, so it doesn't really count. It's on Xbox 360, so it's on Xbox 360, which um, on Xbox 360 and PS3, it's probably the best version because they have everything. They have co-op mode, they have versus mode, they have everything mode. They have so much. And now the last, but certainly not least, Battle for Neighborville. Okay, I might think this game is uh, not too great. Uh, I used to think this game was alright, but now I don't think it's that good anymore. I mean, it just became boring and not fun, so I'll put this game on D tier or C tier. Like, these are at best. Like, C or D at, at best. C, D at best. You know what? I'll close my eyes and then put it somewhere. I'm really closing my eyes for this one, and, uh... What is it? D tier. Okay, then it's D tier. Actually, no, C tier is a bit empty, so I'll put it on C tier. Yeah, and it's at least better than PVZ Heroes. That's for sure. Um, Yeah, that's my PVZ tier list. Garden for One is my all-time favorite PVZ game, but I didn't put it here because I don't know why. I probably forgot it. <laughs> whatever. It's, it's what whatever. Okay, guys, I will see you next time. Peace out.